Good morning, everyone. Today we're going to discuss why we need NFO files for Kodi. Um, uh, this is a good example. Let's take a look at my library. Now, when you get when you import a uh, movie or TV show, you may get something like this. You'll have your actors showing, but one is missing. This is because that all the actors are linked to a URL most likely somewhere on the internet and at the time that you import this movie that link is broken or the picture is no longer there and over time these pictures you see here um, they may disappear as well so if you ever have to re-import your library these pictures will, will disappear as well so that's not not a good thing so with NFO files that you'll get a copy of the pictures on your computer and with Red K NFO Creator you can get these pictures permanently on your computer so that if you ever have to re-import your library you can make sure these pictures are always there not to mention the fact that with Red K NFO Creator you can find this person's picture download it and link it to your movie um, another good example is this one See, this one didn't, didn't even have any pictures at all, which is not really good, especially if you want to find out you know, who's playing what part. With Red K NFO Creator, you can add the pictures here, and they will always be there. Not to mention the fact that, like this one, I see there's no genre at all listed for this movie. So you can go ahead and create a genre for it, and that will be permanently linked. And also with the descriptions, you may have a better description. You want to change it or correct spelling errors, something like that. You can make that change. Without NFO files, any changes you make will disappear the next time you have to re-import your library. And that even includes your user rating. How many, how many times have you um, put your own re user rating for movies, TV shows you like, only to have them all disappear because your computer crashed, your library crashed, you had to redo everything and everything's gone. That is the benefit of NFO files. Now, uh, in case you don't know, here's how you can get that. Now, when you first import your library into your computer, all fresh, there are no NFO files. Um, everything's just put into the library directly. And it's just held um, inside the library itself. So you really do need, I'm just pulling up the files here to show you what they look like. You really do need NFO files. Okay, so here's how you do it. From the main menu, you go to Settings, Media, and you go to Export Library. Now you have two choices. If you choose single file, this will just export your library into a spreadsheet, a huge list, which is good for some things if you want to you know, examine your library, sort them, look for something, whatever. But in order to get NFO files that I'm talking about, you, you need to choose separate. Now you'll be asked a lot of questions. Do you want to export the thumbnails and fan art? You hit yes. Actors, thumbs, overwrite any current old files, you say yes. I'm not going to do it now because I already have it. But once you do hit yes, depending on the size of your library, it could be pretty big. But when it's all done, it's going to look something like this. So you're going to have, um, not the not the SRTs, which are the closed captions, but next to the video in the same folder, here's your NFO file. You will also get your fan art pictures right there and also the movie poster and you can also change these as well as you if you'd like to and also it'll export the actors pictures which are all here so that's what i'm talking about permanently there so that my friends is the benefit of having nfo files and how to get them on your computer